First time, Gromit. Another perfect landing. Your turn to make breakfast, Gromit. Eggs, I think. And toast with honey today. Step to it, lad. I'm famished. Well, what did the postman bring us then? Any orders? Hand it over, lad. Did you find those dog tags I bought you, Grommy? Did you bring the mail, Grommet? Oh, I don't know, no. Final demand, I don't know. There's payment due now, and a disconnection? Nothing but bills, Gromit. I can't look at these before I have my breakfast. If we don't find some steady customers soon, I don't know how we'll make ends meet. Oh, all right then, I'll open one, but just the one? Hmm. Seems your subscription to Marrow Growers Monthly is up for renewal. Don't suppose you'd consider cancelling? Thought not. Oh, better pay up then. Now, where did I put me pen? Ah, yes.
Still no breakfast? I'm beginning to suspect foul play. I suppose I should at least pay the wool bill. Dog is getting a little too independent, if you ask me. Any news on the breakfast front, Gromit? Honey piped directly from the source. Everyone in town will want their own honey tap when word gets out. Done to a turn. My compliments to the chef. Cracking eggs, Chuck. Honey, how sweet of you, Gromit. Now that's what I call a breakfast feast. Wasn't so difficult, was it, lad? With a hearty plate of eggs and toast under me belt, I'm ready to take on the world. Gromit, I've a strange feeling this is the day our fortunes are going to change. Morning, Valles. May I have a word? Um... Uh, if it's about yesterday's uh, um, little mishap... Oh, no, you see? I can assure you it, it was an accident, Mr. Penier, and I'll certainly pay for the damage to your grocery shop. I was just putting the Sniffer 3000 through its paces. It's still only a prototype, you know? Oh, I realize that, Mr. Wallace. And what better place to test out a cheese detector than in a shop with such an excellent selection of cheeses? Happen. But you'll still have to pay for the damage, I'm afraid. Yes, of course. I'll put it all right. Though funds are, how can I put this, a little tight at the moment. Only until our new business is up and running. Hi. Well, that's what I'm here to talk about. I understand you and Gromit are in the honey business now. Fresh deliveries daily, from B to you. <laughs> ah, well, perhaps I can help you get on your feet. I'm having my annual sounding of the Crumpets Festival, and I'm clean out of honey. Can you deliver 50 gallons? 50 gallons? By tonight? Tonight? It'll more than cancel your debt, and it'll be good advertising for you. What do you say? I say... I say yes! We're in business, lad! Heads up. No time for slacking. From B to U has landed its first major order. 50 gallons of honey by tomorrow. I want this place to be a hive of activity. It's your chance to show the world what sort of workers you are. They're certainly buzzing with excitement. Or maybe they're hungry. Did you remember to feed them this morning, Gromit? Never mind, lad. I'll do it. 
The bees love my motivational posters. Nothing like an inspirational poster to boost worker productivity. For some reason, my boys aren't terribly fond of this one. Remote control for my Sniffer 3000. Too bad about the teething problems. Still, this might come in handy. Flowers. The perfect meal for a hungry hive. Uh, bon appetit. <laughs> Oh. Hmm, not exactly a flood, is it? Hmm. Flowers, Gromit. That's the weak link in our production chain. We need more flowers. Now, where can I find a whole lot of flowers in a hurry? So that's where the dog tags went. I'm sure Gromit will be glad to get them back. Beautiful morning, Mr. Wallace. I'm pleased to see you've emerged from your subterranean lair. flowers in here. I wonder what happened to his little cricket bat. Been doing a spot of gardening, have you, Miss Flit? Working my green fingers to the bone. But the hard work appears to be paying off. Indeed it does. Blooms everywhere. I call it my purple paradise. It certainly looks delicious. I mean, I imagine it would look delicious uh, if you were an insect. You mean, if I were a bee? Well, now you mention it. You want to feed my flowers to your bees? That is, if you don't mind. How many would you like? As many as you can spare. Oh, you can have all you want, Mr. Wallace. Oh, much obliged, Miss Flit. Here, you can jolly well grow your own. Uh, right ho. There's nothing growing here. And whose fault is that? You had a garden, Wallace, but you raised it to the ground to feed your silly bees. Now, you're making eyes at mine across the fence. But you shan't be plucking any of my blooms. Kindly reserve your green fingers for number 62. There now, with hard work and a little luck, you should have a nice bed of flowers in two or three months. I can't wait two or three months. I've got a deadline. This evening. Oh, you poor simple man. Nothing grows that quickly. I wonder. Rex Armstrong's quick grow muscle formula. Watch them sprout in seconds. Hmm. If it works on people, perhaps I could adapt it to work on flowers. Three miracle ingredients. Grow team, energize, strongium. Well, I need a miracle and fast. It shouldn't be too tricky to knock up a batch myself. Then we'll see who's got the grandest garden in West Wallaby Street. The hive will be humming in no time. Can't take an old soldier by surprise. 
morning, Major Crumb. It is, if you don't mind enemy invasions. <laughs> <laughs>